Number 61. Show that for a flat mirror, HI is equal to HO, knowing that the image is a distance behind the mirror, equal in magnitude to the distance of the object in front of the mirror. So this statement right here means that the if the image is behind the mirror, that means the image distance is going to be a negative number. Okay? And uh, the object is in front of the mirror, basically. Uh, so that means that the object distance is going to be a positive number. Okay? So, and they said that these two are basically going to be equal to one another. So in other words, you can say DO will equal, you know, negative DI. It doesn't really make a difference where you put the negative sign, right? It, it, it really does not matter at all. Um, so what we'll do, I'll just do it like this since I already have it set up that way. So this is now a statement that we're getting out of this, you know, problem. So now knowing this to be the case, I have to now somehow prove that the heights are going to be equal. So what I'm going to do is use this part of my magnification equation. This says that the height of the image divided by the height of the object will be equal to negative di over do. Okay. Now, look, I have basically an equation here solved for do already. In other words, do here is equal to this thing. So I'm going to take that and plug it in for do. Now, when we do that, it's hi then over ho is equal to negative di over negative di. This thing goes not to zero, but to one, right? If you divide the same two values by one another, the negatives cancel, this goes to one. Then what I can realize is, or then what I realize, not what I can realize, but then what I realize is I cross multiply the ho and look, there's my relationship, okay? There it is. So guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I hope that helped. Check out some more of the problems. We got more coming. Take care.